Hi guys, this is Simeon. You see the garlic here behind me hanging up and it's drying. But the nights are getting so cold already that um, I'm worried about the garlic being triggered and will start to grow. And it won't dry enough here anyway. You know, all the layers of, of uh, skin will have to be dried between the cloves. So um, I wanted to originally dry them in the wood kiln that my dad is building. The wood kiln hasn't been finished. Um, I am going to build a dryer um, today just to get this garlic uh, dry enough. So let's do that. that I'm standing in is part of a homemade tipping trailer that we built for our quad. That's gonna be a whole nother video where I wanna show that to you because it's really cool. But um, it's basically this box made out of OSB and birch lumber uh, that we chip our wood chips in. Um, when we, we have it behind the quad and we chip it full, I think it rooms, I think it has room for three and a half cubic meters of wood chips and then we can go and dump it out wherever we want it. But right now it's just standing here and I am going to somehow cover it here on top, hang the garlic in here and put a heater in here and then make a little gap up here where the warm and moist air can get out of. So let's see if we can do this. I'm gonna use these to cover the box from the top it won't be completely airtight, but we don't want it completely airtight because we want the moist and warm air to kind of get out of there. So um, we don't want to... The worst thing that we could do, I think, is create a cold and wet or warm and wet environment for these uh, garlics. They just need to have it dry. Yeah, I think this would work. Now we just have to figure out how we will hang up all the garlic here without it crashing down and crowd too much. That's I think the most important part here. The way I'm building this now is kind of the same principle as my dad um, is building in the wood kiln. It kind of needs a canal on the bottom where the air can um, flow um, freely and then to circulate and it's going to be warmed up. Then I'm going to have just a gap or a vent um, at a certain spot where this warmed up and moist air can exit this whole structure.
Okay, so heater's on, the garlic is in here. I'm gonna get a thermometer and put it in there so I can monitor that as well. Here on the plastic, I will see if it gets too wet, which I don't think. And now we'll just see how this will turn out. Now the thermometer I'm using here is the same one that I used in my cold frame, um, where I raised my plants in the spring. Um, it shows me both the lowest and the highest temperature, plus what it is at the moment and this really enables me to see in the morning how cold this thing got at night and also um, the maximum temperature that it will reach because I don't want it to get too hot this heater right now uses one kilowatt of electricity and um, it's it's not that much and I don't plan on letting this run for very long I think that after just a few days this will um, have dried enough. I can just take out a garlic and check on it and see if it's perfect. And when it's dry I will cut off um, the, the stem and, we'll, um, and then I will just store them in our workshop where it's heated year round. I just want to show you real quick um, what we do with the garlic to just increase its value. If you don't have that much, it's always better to do something with your products, you know. Uh, we don't have that, that much forest, but if you mill it, mill it or make firewood out of it, you get so much more than if you just sold the logs. If you plane those milled logs, you get so much more for that than just milled lumber and so on. And the same here, um, we take a certain amount of money per pound garlic and um, then when we make a braid like this we sell one of these for like eight dollars and um, that's really a good way because it goes fairly quick we just take six six garlics um, that we braid together like this and then um, we tie it together on the top when these are too dry already um, they break so you have to take a little rope to tie them together on the top but um, you can just take these um, six garlics and pretty much um, you know increase the value of them by probably 50 to 100 percent depending on what kind of garlic you use and then you have this um, this pretty braid uh, that you can sell and we just put out an ad yesterday and already sold um, 13 of them for the very first time and once the word spreads I expect us to sell a lot more than this. That's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.